A poll of 1,004 people found that uh, two-thirds of them believe in a soulmate, which I find a little depressing. Oh, what am I going to do with you folks? Soulmates? Really? That's depressing because that forces people to stay with their significant other even if they're unhappy because they think that's their soulmate. Or it forces them to leave their other person once they run into any kind of little bit of trouble and it, they disagreed over a ham sandwich right. and they're like, oh, you weren't my soulmate. I have to now find my new soulmate. That stuff drives me crazy, man. Mm -hmm. And it's it's the myth-making machine, man. It's part of our media hyping it up. You know, mm -hmm. you, it's all the movies. Oh, you know, and then Meg Ryan, and she got to find Tom Hanks, and they can't sleep together, and but then they do, and then they're soulmates, and because they they both love books, and they found each other. <sighs> yeah, I get frustrated. Right. Okay. And look, it's not to say that there isn't love. Don't be crazy. Of course there's love, right? And there's shared interests. But there's no such thing as one person for you. There are several people out there that are for you. Yeah, there isn't. God didn't create one half of one heart somewhere and the other half of the heart somewhere else. And if they join it, they get a necklace. It's awesome. No, you find people that, hey, you know, that work with you, that, mm -hmm. you, that in, in terms of you share interests and you grow together and you learn what's great from each other, you compliment one another. You know what I'm saying? You share. You become one. Okay? But it isn't because, like, you found just the right person, and if there's anything slightly wrong, well, oh, then they're not the right person. i got to go on the warpath again and find my soulmate. Okay, no, not buying it. You know why I love this story? It automatically made me think of Tom and his uh, explanation for why soulmates don't really exist. Like, every time we talk about the possibility of soulmates, he'll go over to our map, and he'll be like, Anna, this is where you are. And he'll point to, like, Los Angeles, California. And then, like, it's a world map, right? And he'll be like, look at this world map! And you're here. So you're saying that your soulmate is in this area? It doesn't make any sense. No, that's 100% right. And I, I think along the same lines, maybe that's why he works here. Mm -hmm. I always think, like, what if my soulmate is in Mongolia? <laughs> If she's in a yurt in outer Mongolia, how am, I, how am I going to find her, right? And then I saw another study, right? That you know what the number one indicator of whether you're going to get married to somebody is? Not shared interest, not soulmate, not this, not uh, proximity. How close you live to that person. Mm -hmm. Okay, because those are the people you're going to run into. Okay, and unless God is an awesome, merciful God, and he says, I will uh, give you soulmates. And I will make sure that they live within a three-block perimeter. <laughs> Otherwise, it's all a joke, okay?